Hello guys and girls, we are here, expand your consciousness, giving you the best life advice and exposing the matrix. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, those mysterious, those weird, those mind blowing things that you are gonna experience in your spiritual awakening journey. <laughs> Have you noticed something strange happening to your life lately? Like something has changed, like you feel different, you definitely look different. Nothing has changed out there, but something has changed inside you, and you see and you perceive everything out there differently. It's your awake, it's your awakening, and you know that. You are like, <laughs> there are so many weird things happening to me right now in my life. Where am I? What's going on here? Why do I keep seeing uh, these repeated numbers? <laughs> Why do I keep seeing those numbers everywhere? My, I am in my spiritual awakening since 11-11-2019. Uh, like two years and a half and everything is happening so fast and every single day I'm getting new revelations, new insights, new perspectives. I'm waking up to this reality, to, to the fifth dimension. And um, there is also this awakening happening to so many other people at this moment on the planet. There is a massive awakening that is happening on the planet right now. And they are like... Their, their life will never, ever, never, ever be the same again. And they are like, I was like, this is crazy. But it's not crazy. You are just waking up. So let me share with you some mysterious things that are happening uh, uh, during my spiritual awakening journey because it's super accelerated and spiritual awakenings now nowadays are much more accelerated than the than the, uh, the other spiritual awakenings that the other people had in the past. So. Things are gonna get really crazy because you are waking up to a new reality. You will want to go back to your old life, but you already know that you can't. You, you know too much now. You have outgrown this place. This place is not for you anymore. Your old ego still is gonna try to get you back, but it's impossible. You can't go back. Once your spiritual awakening happens, there's no way back. So, number one mysterious thing. Uh, thing. Did you see 11-11? Did you suddenly see 11-11? Repeated numbers 111-222-333-444-555-666-777-777-5788-899-000 Are these numbers chasing, chasing you everywhere? Because you don't just see them once, you see them every single day. There are no accidents, no coincidences in this universe. Everything is happening with divine order for a purpose. And in your brain, you are like, why do I keep saying this 11-11 like crazy? What, what's the meaning? It's so mysterious. What's happening right there is that you are waking up to the matrix, okay? You see uh, those master numbers. Um, I saw the first 11-11 at 11-11-2019 in the first day of my spiritual awakening. And I was aware that there is so much more, the energy I was getting, uh, there is so much more to this number. It was like a message from the other side, the timing, the and all this is super mysterious, especially in the beginning where you are not used to this uh, reality. This is super mysterious. This was a message from the other side, from my soul, from my spirit guys, from Archangel Michael, from God, Jesus Christ, you know, it's oneness. A message from this transcended dimension of ego. In the beginning, 
I was programmed to look out there. So, you know, from the outside in, we are all programmed in the matrix to look this way in life, to perceive life this way, from the outside in. So, my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, my soul, God, you know, they used the outside environment to change my subconscious programming. So I can, you know, through synchronicities, through huge synchronicities, through numbers, through music, they use that to reprogram my subconscious mind to look in the correct way from the inside in. Okay. And yeah, synchronicities, they, they used, it was miracles back to back. Okay. My mind was like, what the fuck, I'm getting crazy here, you know? And you can't even speak with anybody next to you. It's impossible. They don't understand. There's no way. They will tell you you need to go to a doctor, you know, to a psychiatrist and stuff like that. And there's no way for people that are still inside the matrix to understand you. There's no way. It's impossible. It's impossible. Synchronistas. When your dominant thoughts align with your life and become your dominant experiences. What is this, a synchronicity? What is a synchronicity? A series of events that are happening at the same time with a purpose to give you a message. The whole universe is aligning so you can get a message. That's a synchronicity. Uh, yeah, and you are living tons. When you wake up, you're gonna begin to live synchronicities like crazy. It's like someone is speaking to you. It's like the whole universe is interacting with you. And you are like, what the heck is going on here? And this this is super mysterious. Number two is that you experience uh, an altered state of consciousness. You, you know, you start to see behind the illusion of the 3D, 4D world and uh, this is a super mysterious thing because what's happening to me at this moment and since that day, but now it's a new reality, is that I live in a different dimension. Okay, in this fifth dimension, in this transcendent dimension of ego inside us. And there's, there's a different time zone here. There is no time actually. This one is timeless. And there is no linear time here, and um, this is super mysterious. You don't explore that, you don't follow that. And you realize, I realized that from childhood we have been programmed. We have been programmed. <laughs> we, we have been brainwashed to only believe one truth and to believe in uh, this linear, uh, in this linear time, you know, days, uh, clock. Uh, weeks, month, uh, year, and stuff like that. And yeah, you, you begin to have those altered state of consciousness and you have outgrown this linear time. And um, th this is happening because we are changing our inner vibration and we start to realize that everything is energy and we are a multi-dimensional being that is living a human experience. And yeah, this is super mysterious, adventurous. Event, you venture into the unknown every single day, you explore new frontiers, a world without borders, without boundaries, where, where you are one with the flow and there is no suffering there, where you know without knowing, you just know intuitively, it's, uh, without knowing why, you just know and you are sure you know it, this is the path and you just follow it all in. You have to trust this is, th there are no choices, okay. <laughs> Another thing is, um, a mysterious thing is that you feel everything. If you were one time empath, now you are 10 times empath. You are going to the doctor, he speaks to you, he says to you, trust me, I'm a doctor, but it doesn't really matter what they say because the, their energy, you feel their energy behind their words. And um, you just feel, you just know if they speak in truth or no. Their vibes speaks for them. And uh, yeah, we, 
we become more sensitive and that's a super mysterious thing you know you read energy not by thinking but by feeling an upgraded version and yeah it's super mysterious you know a mysterious thing that is happening to me and to most people to everybody actually that has spiritual awakening is that uh, your whole body is changing your diet is changing I, I, I'm around 80% vegan no gluten no sugar no diary 80% vegan and um, the first thing that is gonna change faster than the rest of the body is the, the brain the mind the brain uh, the, the change on the brain is gonna happen really fast for me the, the whole upper body the whole upper part of my brain was getting stimulated like crazy in uh, the first uh, months of my spiritual awakening the whole crown chakra was getting stimulated the whole upper part of my brain actually was changing I, I was feeling it for days for days it, it, I was getting those altered state of consciousness one after the other and I was like what the hell is going on here but I knew that this is the path I was trusting I was changing then the body followed my DNA my cellular structure my memory you know the cellular structure is moving more from um, the um, carbon structure to crystalline structure so so you can hold permanently those higher frequencies in the first you know seven to ten days I experienced this total bliss state this frequency this is the higher state of being I had on this planet in this human body my whole body was exploding from this love from this unconditional love this energy every cell of my body was was feeling this bliss for seven to ten days unconditional love this frequency but I was I, I stand there back on the bed to go to sleep and I couldn't I was ready to explode from the inside from the inside out and I knew that my body cannot handle these high frequencies at this moment and that is what is happening during your spiritual awakening journey and this is super mysterious especially in the beginning that you don't know what the heck is going on you don't know you don't know and it's super mysterious the whole part of the spiritual awakening process is that your old self is dying and the new you is being born and you are dying in all levels in all levels this changes completely and this takes time this takes time this is gonna take time to change the, the mind is gonna change first but the, the rest of the body is gonna take a lot of time to change so you can embody those higher, higher frequencies permanently Another mysterious thing that is happening, number five, is that your soul brings everything that you were running from your whole entire life to face it. Every fear, everything you have run, every block, so you can heal it. And this is not only mysterious, but it is super uncomfortable. You are dying there. This, this is going to be the hardest part of the spiritual awakening journey but you don't have to worry you have to face every challenge it's not going to be easy it's going to be super hard but you will be guided you already know you are guided from a higher force if you are here don't be afraid go all in and uh, yeah this is going to be the most challenging part of the spiritual awakening dark night of the soul you're going to die there but uh, your only light will be your, your own soul but you have to go through that your soul knows exactly your soul this transcended dimension of ego inside you knows exactly you have to trust it 100% surrender surrender to that because it knows exactly where you need to go and what you need to do trust it with your mind let your mind surrender to that voice inside you it's super important because the more you fight that the more you're gonna suffer in that experience you realize sooner or later in your life that this knows everything okay number six is that you have this inner knowing you have this inner knowing you just know 
you know what you came here to do you know you are like how did I know if I come to this place that things uh, would work out how how did I know what I came here to do you, yeah, you just know because this transcended dimension of ego inside you this um, higher level of consciousness inside you just knows and you just know when you are in this uh, transcended dimension of ego inside you you'll realize that everything is coming from a place of knowing age of Aquarius the age of uh, believing has ended now we are moving to the age of knowing you just know and this is something super mysterious and it is because you realize sooner or later in the spiritual awakening you you will realize just as i did that choices exist as long as you are separated from source as long you are separated from your soul from this transcendent dimension of ego from fifth dimension from this you know level of consciousness you realize just as I did that choices exist as long as you are so separated from that. You will realize that heart automatically chooses the best path for you and for the whole for the whole universe in here. The heart is the part of the soul and already knows. The heart operates in zero point data in the eternal now. The heart is in the present, in the now moment. And it is unconditional, it is unconditional in all ways. Whereas the ego mind, the 3D ego mind, only reads data from the past, from memories and from the Akashic records, and is creating conditions based on separation of cause and effect. If this happens, then that and puts you into an illusion of choices that's that whichever choice you pick it doesn't even matter you are in a prison in a mental prison that you have created by yourself because you have been programmed through the matrix to do that and this is super mysterious you are like what the hell is going on in this place who the fuck created this matrix? And this is getting super mysterious, exciting, you know, you wanna explore, you wanna set your mind free, you wanna, you, you begin to free your mind, and this is one of the most liberating feelings you will ever feel, because freedom, freedom is your birthright, and the moment you leave it, the moment you begin to set yourself free, you will feel an amazing re release of negative energy, an amazing feeling, you know, it's the best feeling ever to actually live in peace and free in this human experience. Number seven is that uh, you have this inner calling. This inner calling. <laughs> this, inner, this is where it gets super, super, super uh, mind blowing. You have this inner call. You are called. Someone is calling you on the phone. No, no, it's not calling you on the phone. It's a different calling. It's a nine calling. You feel called to be in your missions. In your mission. It's the same. You feel called when you are going somewhere. You feel called. You just don't go. You just don't act with your mind anymore. You feel called. It's completely different. You are in a higher level of consciousness. In a higher level of consciousness than the human brain. And th this is where it gets super weird. Because you are thinking outside the box of this matrix, of this 3D, 4D reality. And in, in the beginning, this is super mysterious, super uncomfortable, super crazy. Um, and there is no plan in your life anymore. You cannot plan with your brain anymore because the moment you do, the moment you plan your experiences on linear time, you just know that you go against the flow. That the flow cannot be 
um, aligned with planning in linear time. That linear time is a dimension of, of uh, a kindergarten dimension of consciousness, and uh, you are locked in there. You are off path, and you're gonna suffer, and you can't plan. Your reality unlocks itself every single day, step by step. You venture into the unknown by having this inner calling and knowing but you don't know what you're gonna face every single day it just reveals itself to you and this this is me going with the flow where you are there there is no suffering everything comes to you magically this is paradise on earth and you can only experience that when you connect with this transcendent dimension of ego inside you when you transcend the dimension of the consciousness of the brain when you move above and this is paradise on earth and yeah, this is super mysterious. And number eight is you have premonitions. You you know things before they actually happen. You just know. It happened along my journey. It happens a lot. And um, yeah, it's uh, there is where you realize that this subconscious mind cannot understand what we call real life it's the same for the subconscious mind it shapes it it transforms it whether it's a real life right here real life because it's not real actually the other life is real but whatever uh the mind changes is the same when you have a multi-dimensional experiences experiences within your mind it's the same thing for the mind the mind is getting this new information is getting and it's shaping itself to that experience. It doesn't matter if it's a nine experience. It doesn't matter if you have your eyes open and you experience this reality multidimensionally. This changes the mind based on the experience. You're becoming, you know, your mind is changing from a linear mind into a multidimensional mind. You're becoming, you're getting upgrades. You're now becoming superhuman. And, woo! This is the video for today, guys. Peace and glory.